everyone and welcome again for our Elif Tech Talk series. I'm your host Uzma Sayyad and here we have Ms. Deliana Radulova and we're moving on with our third topic for uh, the day, which is where does D365 marketing truly shine and exploring its best verticals, also complementing it by a real world use case. So the stage is all yours, Deliana. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Dynamics marketing and where it truly really shines. So here you might need to stop me because I'm pretty sure I can talk about use cases for the next five days straight. Um, okay. <laughs> so in terms of capability, dynamics marketing or customer insights journeys, as we as we spoke about before, with the rebranding and the new name, has a very strong capability in terms of <clears throat> segmenting, profiling customers, running automated campaigns, following up through different channels, be that an email, SMS, text message, um, all of those. It has a very strong social media capability, so social media posting, capability and event management is definitely one that we shouldn't forget. For all of those capabilities, we have been awarded, we have been put into the leader's quadrant for Gartner for two years in a row. Again, the blog for this year came just a few weeks ago. I'll put the link because it's something that we are definitely proud of because you can see the progressions now we're at the very top of the quadrant for the B2B marketing which is something that's really good good to see. Um, one of the things that we should always mention in my opinion when we talk about where dynamics marketing um, truly shines is real-time marketing. So partners might be aware we have two different flavors of marketing before it used to be outbound marketing the way we do things and now we have real time marketing. It's important to say that the whole investment now is in real time marketing so that's definitely the way to go and there is a great feature parity between the two. One specific area that I want to talk about because I think is one of the very strong points in real-time marketing now is to do with triggers. So previously we were always able to run to use triggers in your campaign or in your journey but before it used to be a bit more complicated in terms of passing data in, taking data out <clears throat> but now it's not that's not longer the case. Now triggers are Pretty, pretty much out of the box, really easy to use. And new triggers are getting added every day as we speak. So triggers in real-time marketing, it's definitely one of my, my favorite strong points um, in the product the way it is nowadays. And here, something that I think is important to mention, because we spoke about new things coming into the product all the time. So I just want to acknowledge that I understand how it's difficult for partners or just every all of us to keep track of all of the new things coming up. Um, so the best advice I have on this one is check the release planner regularly. And again, we'll pop the link um, in the video afterwards. <clears throat> but the release planner is an amazing resource that I think is, again, a bit underused. But I think everybody should have it booked. Everybody who talks to customers about a specific product should have it bookmarked and checked it at least once a week because there are new things coming out. There are things that are taken out. There are things that are changing. And that's probably the easiest way to keep track of all of those features that make Dynamics Marketing truly shine. Um, so yeah, Release Planner cannot stress enough how important it is to check it regularly. And talking about real life scenarios, again, there are so, so, so many 
just thinking and prepping for this video made me so nostalgic because I was going through all of the customers that you've worked with in my head. Um, so again, loads, but just to mention a few, we'll start with healthcare because I work in healthcare in the UK, so that's probably where most of the most recent examples I have seen are. Um, but we have examples both from the public, public side of things as well as the private side of things. Um, so in the public context, we're not going to mention any names, but we have worked with a lot of hospitals, a lot of trusts, a lot of organizations that they all have to deal with getting patients in, doing something with them and then discharging them and sending them off. That whole process can be managed with Dynamics 365 marketing or as we call it now, customer insights. Uh, because when somebody gets an appointment, you need to follow up. That can be a customer journey. That can be a campaign. They need to get a reminder. Again, that can be a text message in a campaign set from Dynamics Marketing. Healthcare is a highly regulated industry. So those organizations need to evidence that people have received specific documents at a specific time. Dynamics Marketing or Customer Insights is amazing for this because you can see a report of everything that people have seen and when they have seen it. So you cannot have somebody saying, oh, I never got that because there you have it. You have the audit log, black and white. So you as an organization have that peace of mind that they have received it. So that's something that we have used loads of hospitals and just using it purely because it gives them that that log functionality, that peace of mind, discharge. Um, again, loads of loads of organizations using it in terms of you as a patient, you've gone into a hospital, you've got the treatment, you're about to be discharged. At that point, what people want to know is what happens next? When what follow-up do you need? Do, the, do you need to go back to the hospital in a month or do you need to go back to the hospital um, in three months? And then reminders about those, those milestones coming up, that can all be automated. That is all. We have a lot of organizations using dynamic market, dynamics marketing is automating that process. We have the system keeping track of when when you're... So first it would send you an email to tell you all of those things that you need to do. Uh, or you need to know when you're getting discharged or a, or a letter, and then it would send you reminders um, through a channel of your choice. So it could be text message, it could be email, um, sending you reminders about your appointments coming up or about scans, procedures, whatever it might be. Um, in the private, private space. Again, we work with a few uh, healthcare insurance providers and the most, probably the one, the topic they talk to us about most is about the regulation aspect because as we said, it's heavily regulated industry. So being able to see that reporting of who has seen and done what and when is something that is really important in that product. Um, customer insights gives them that capability. In another example that is probably one of my favorite, um, we have all been through a pandemic now, who thought we would go through a pandemic in our lifetime, but when the pandemic was happening, we had, we had a lot of customers using Dynamics Marketing at the time, Customer Insights now, um, to notify their employees in the real time about it about spread happening. So if you were going to go to the office and there was somebody with with a with a COVID case the day before, they would use the system to send those instant text messages, emails, whatever it might be, to their employees to say, don't come to the office because there is a spread. We need to do a cleanup. Um, or it's safe to come to the office today. So that was something that it literally doesn't get more important than this because it's literally saving lives. So I think it's something that's that was a really powerful um, use case. 
um, just to mention a few outside of healthcare, because as you can see, I, I'm, I'm I'm very into the healthcare industry, but I'm sure there there are people out there that work in different industries. So in construction, for example, we have seen quite a few examples. So all of the ones I mentioned in healthcare were B2C, business to consumer. In construction, we have seen quite a few that are B2B. And again, that functionality that the product supports, dynamics marketing or customer insights now support both B2B and B2C um, way of doing your marketing in construction. The reason it's B2B is because there is a limited number of stakeholders involved. There are not that many different players as it is in a B2C world. So again, Dynamics Marketing has a very strong capability in managing those relationships, making sure we can see who knows whom, uh, who can give you an introduction and following um, the correspondence or the relationship that you as a company have had with those other companies. I worked with, so my first marketing customer, um, again, not to mention any names, but it was a ferry company and they used Dynamics Marketing to collect feed. So we would go on a ferry, you would cross, cross a river and then they would use Dynamics Marketing to collect feedback about how your journey was. Did you like the food on board and all of those things. So again, loads of examples from all of the different verticals. So it's massively applicable regardless of what vertical and industry you work in. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas um, how the product could be used, but really the possibilities are absolutely endless. Thank you, Juliana. I think um, the examples, the real life examples have really uh, done it for this particular question. I particularly like the um, ferry idea uh, and the example you gave. Also, the healthcare industry, you seem to be a little more emotional <laughs> and connected towards it. Uh, we can definitely understand that. But thank you so much for giving this question such a, um, you know, different point of view from all over the angles. And